Hey guys, it is currently 4.14 in the morning on June 1st, but for the final work in progress video of May, we are going to talk about the 28th through the 31st. Um, I didn't accomplish a ton on these days, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, on the 28th, I wrote 348 words in The Poisoning of John Doe, and then I had to call into the doctors for uh, to make an appointment for blood work so that way I can hopefully get my thyroid medication upped again uh, so that way I can get my thyroid back on track. Um, and then I wrote 922 words in books and badges, headed to bed, edited 10 chapters of letters from Madman after I woke up, which was 12,861 words there. And between Poisoning of John Doe and Books and Badges, I wrote 1,270 words for May 28th. On the 29th, I edited a work in progress video, wrote 452 words in Books and Badges, finally finished the letters from Madman to-do list, which is just when I write down what the characters are planning on doing um, as they say the things, and then as they happen in the book, I mark them off. It helps make sure the first drafts are relatively uh, coherent, and I didn't do that when I was working on Letters from Madman, but I needed to finish it for a video, so I finally did it. Um, I finished writing a video script for a Minetti character sketch that you'll see at some point. You might see it before this video, you might see it after, it depends on how I break things up. Um, but that was 580 words there. Headed to bed. When I woke up, I wrote 208 words in Letters from Madman, edited 5 chapters, and that was 6,797 words, and that was the completion of edit 6. And then I wrote another uh, 430 words in Books and Badges, which brought my total for May 29th to 1,090 words written. On May 30th, I was exhausted. <laughs> my thyroid, when it's out of whack, uh, exhaustion is just one of the issues that I deal with on and off. Um, so I took several naps throughout the morning. I wrote 1,048 words in books and badges. I headed to bed and then I slept for like 12 hours. Um, so the 1,048 is the only words that I wrote for the 30th. On the 31st, again, I was exhausted. Um, from the time I woke up, I managed to stay awake for like 3 hours, I think, and then I took a 2 hour nap. Um, edited a Letters from Madman video. Wrote 306 words in Books and Badges, started edit 7 of Letters from Madman, which is just a normal read-through edit. Um, edited two chapters there, and that was 2,868 words. And total, uh, throughout the entire month of May, I wrote 49,374 words, and I edited one th uh, 141,644 words. Um, obviously on the written portion of things, I didn't make it quite as far as I was hoping I would, but I generally expect that, um, just given the way that things are. <laughs> um, but I accomplished a ton on the editing side of things, and I made some great progress on Letters from a Madman. I'm very happy with the way that that book is going right now, and that's a damn good sign. Um, and I'm still set for an August release, and I'm back to where I should be, roughly, with edits. Um, and that's all great. I'm more or less on track as to where I should have been, uh, despite all of the pushbacks on the editing process, and all of the delays in the editing process, and, um, and everything like that. And I finally have all the chapters written, I finally have all the scenes written, I just gotta finish editing. Um, I have this edit, edit 7, 8, and 9 left. I have to format the book, format the large font, format the ebook, make the cover for all three of those as well, um, make the back of the book blurb description thing, um, and set up Goodreads pages, uh, and stuff on my website. But otherwise, I'm on track, <laughs> which is something. Um, all those things have to wait until I finish the final edits, but otherwise, I'm, I'm where I should be, and that's great, and that's something that happened in May. Um, that's probably the best thing that came out of it, otherwise I struggled a lot in May. Um, I suffered from a lot of delays in my editing. I shelved several books um, <clears throat> because of issues that had arisen in them, and just it wasn't worth trying to push forward in them anymore. Um, and that's kind of sucky, um, but I know that I'm going to come back to them eventually, I just need time away from them, and distance will help fix, the, fix those issues more than just staring at it will, um, but it still sucks to have to shelf them, uh, but 
you, you got to do what you got to do, <laughs> more or less. Um, so the writing side of things wasn't super, super great in May, but the editing side of things really came forward, and I finally made some damn good progress there, and that's more than I can ask for. Um, but that is all that I have for this video. It's all that I have for May, all that I have for the May work in progress videos. Um, June is going to be work in progress videos mostly, I think. Um, Camp Nano starts in July and I'm not going to do prep videos for it. Normally I do. Um, I do them every day normally, but because I don't know what the hell I'm doing in July. I'm currently balancing Letters from Madman amongst my other stuff, and for the last several days I've been thinking about shelving the Bo Austin Taylor series, the series, and rewriting every single book um, for reasons that I'll get into in another video if I end up doing that, but I'm 11 books into that series. Um, and the idea of doing that is both very, very daunting and mildly terrifying. Um, before the Bo Austin Taylor series, I wrote 14 Bo Austin books, and I love every single one of them. They need to be edited, some stuff needs to be fixed, obviously, but I love the books. I love Bo, I love Jensen, I love Jake, I love all the relationships between all of the characters. I love the development of Bo, I love the development of his... Um, almost father-son relationship with Jamal. I love seeing him develop his relationship with his adoptive parents more, and all of that stuff happens in the first 14 books, and that's great. I love it. Um, but during the Bo Austin Taylor series, there's much less character development for any of them. Uh, when I was writing that series, I was still posting it online, and the place I was posting it was very, very toxic for me. And because of that, it was constantly damaging my mental health. And it was damaging my my writing, my writing progress, the writing of any single book I was working on at the time. And it made me just push through and completely do whatever was going to get me to the end of the book the fastest. And I think it really shows in the Bo Austin Taylor series. There are some books that I still enjoy in that series. Um, I think it's book seven, The Spectator. Um, I really like that one. I think that one's amazing. There are some things that I would definitely change in it, but I, I love the plot of that one. I love the, the aspect of that one. Um, and I really like the first three, although primarily books one and three, The Happy Face Killer and... Uh, the Headless Horseman Killer. I really like those ones. Um, and something happens at the end of book three that really leads super, super well into book four, um, character related, and I think that's great. But there are so many aspects in between the others that I just don't enjoy and I think don't make sense. Um, they don't make sense for my characters, it doesn't make sense for the world, and overall it builds to a point that there's no character development because Bo, who suffers from depression and anxiety, um, primarily, and a lot of self-esteem and self-confidence issues in between all of that, um, he goes to a psychiatrist quite often, but then sometimes when he gets better, he stops going, because that's something that people do in real life, um, especially the first time they see a uh, mental health professional of any kind. They go until they start feeling better, and then they stop. Um, it's generally a mistake, and that's portrayed in the series, but he does it more than once. Um, and that's where part of the issue lies, because the end of the Bo Austin Taylor series should be Bo at his best, not at his worst. And right now in book 11, he's pretty close to at his worst. Um, books 3 and 4 four of the Bo Austin series is where he's like at at his worst, but he's getting pretty close to that in the Bo Austin Taylor series, and if this one's also 14 books long, there's not going to be much room to improve him without it being very fast, quick succession. So uh, I've been thinking about that for the past several weeks, I think, um, and 
that has also helped slow down my writing because it makes me want to avoid working on any of my books because the idea of restarting the Bo Austin Taylor series concerns me in the sense that what if I can't fix it? What if I don't end up with a continuation of the Bo Austin series and instead I just continue to pile on to the bad parts of the Bo Austin Taylor series? And that's sucked a lot of the life and the fun out of May, mostly. Amongst the other issues I've been dealing with, with exhaustion and pain and whatever else, but I'm hoping that in June things go better. I've already shelved another book. I'm going to continue thinking on the Bo Austin Taylor thing and seeing what arises from that, but it would involve scrapping 11 books and starting over. So I think the main thing there before I make that decision is to read through the f books um, before I do anything drastic. And I'm not like deleting them, I'd still have the old copies. And picking and choosing which aspects of the books need to change and picking and choosing which books need to change. So like, I like the Happy Face Killer, there's an issue with the dates in there that needs to be fixed so certain parts at the end need to be rewritten. And I like the Hillis Horseman Killer, but The Cook, which is book two, needs to be fixed. There are just some things in there that I don't like. There are some terrible inconsistencies between why the guy does what he does and shit like that that needs to be fixed. And the books from there onward, I don't remember a ton, of, a ton about. All of the books I've written from book three to now are more or less a hazy, foggy blur because I was in such a terrible place when I was writing them because of the side I was posting them on and I think it shows in the books. It shows for me. I don't know if it shows for the average reader, um, but I feel like if you paid enough attention you would definitely notice a decline in the quality, you would notice less development in the characters, and you would notice less reality in their conversations and their actions. But I'm hoping that once I spend some time focused solely on that, I'll be able to come to a conclusion on what the best option is for that series. And once I come to that conclusion, I'm hoping that writing goes better again, and I'm hoping that June goes better for writing as well. But because of that, and because I don't know where I'm going to go with it, I'm mostly only going to do work in progress videos for June. I might do a couple prep videos here and there once I make a decision, uh, but we'll see. And I'll still be doing Camp Nano, I just might not be starting any new books for it. Depends on how things go. But that's where we are right now. <laughs> uh, that's all that I have for this particular work in progress video. Um, I'm going to try and do some writing today and then I'll see you at some point in June <laughs> with an update of how that has gone. But uh, I have a doctor's appointment later today, so I'm probably not going to accomplish a ton. That's just generally how it goes. But that's all that I have for this particular video. All that I have for May all together. A nice little wrap up there at the end, but that's it. If you enjoyed this video, a like is always appreciated, and if you'd like to stay updated on my writing, my editing, the gaming videos I upload roughly every Friday, or anything that I do on the channel in between, feel free to subscribe. All the links to my author's pages, as well as links to my social media are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.